Hey there, sheepdoggers, and welcome to first look tutorial and gameplay of Curious Expedition, which will be out by the time I believe. Yeah, let's just make sure. Uh, Da, 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 da. One day and three hours, so it, it'll it won't be out by the time uh, I uh, put this video up. It won't be out on Steam. You can see Alpha Ten, full Steam ahead. It, Steam early access is coming, and etc. This is a game that I've been sitting on for a while. Uh, I play it every now and then. It's really really fun. You can see the bits that aren't actually included in it. And here's the game, so we're just going to be, uh, we're also going to turn it down a little bit. There we go, turn it down properly. Okay, so I haven't actually played this version of it, so there may not be, there may be bits I'm not that aware of, and so on and so forth. This will probably be a fairly long video, but uh, anyway, tutorial. Tutorial. Welcome to Curious Expedition Tutorial. So this is a game I find really fun, really entertaining. I'm pretty sure it's going into early access. In fact, I'll just check that for you right now. So we'll have a look. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Yeah, it's going into early access. But it's playable and replayable now. It really is. So begin tutorial. Move around by double clicking on your desired destination. You can drag the map by holding down the left mouse button. Try moving east. Wait, do, am I trying to move east or? Okay, so I'm not looking east. All right, so double click. There you go. Every time you move, you will lose some sanity, which is up there. There it is. Uh, you you can see your sanity in the top right corner of your screen. There it is. Uh, each move has base sanity cost, so try to move in longer distances to be effective. Keep moving east. Okay. In addition to the base costs, moving across a field has additional sanity costs, depending on the type of field. Uh, you can check the move costs uh, of each field in the lower right corner of your screen. Keep moving. So you can see here, like, uh, travel cost 5 base, 8 path, travel days 1. Uh, you know, so going like this is only 9 sanity. Going through here is already 21 or 15 or etc. So we'll go this way. There we go. Bloop, 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 bloop. The goal of each expedition is to reach a golden pyramid which is hidden somewhere on the map before losing your sanity. For the purpose of the tutorial, we have uncovered the location of the golden pyramid for you. Move towards it. Uh huh. So, again, like, you know, we could go through here, but it, it, you see it says, like, go this way, because basically it's a bad idea to actually go into it. So, yeah, yeah just go around. There we go. Uh, the red map marker indicate, is indicating you can perform an action at this location. When you reach the location, an action button will appear at the lower center of your screen. Now... Move to the Golden Pyramid and click Explore Action Button. So we'll just move to the Golden Pyramid. You see our sanity is there, we've got standing and, 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 and etc. Explore. This is the end of the first tutorial which introduced you to the basics of the game. Next tutorial. <clears throat> and you, yeah, we'll, it'll go into fame and all this stuff. There we go. <clears throat> So yeah, obviously I know a fair amount of this game already, so it's, it is it is a first look, because it's the first time I'm featuring it as a video on my channel and everything, but it's not a first look for me, so I know bits and pieces about the game already. Uh, so keep that, keep that in mind, like full disclosure. Uh, and I do quite love it, so yeah, also keep that in mind as I talk about the game. Uh, welcome to the second part of the tutorial. This time we will not tell you where the gold pyramid can be found. So uh, yeah, basically this compass will point in the general direction. So it's from north to east basically, so it's not up that way. <clears throat> Initially its accuracy is at zero, you can increase by uncovering more fields. Which is just like a hexagon type square type place. 
Uh, okay, village location, move to the village. Okay, so we need to go to this village. So we'll just go this way. And then, surprise, surprise, we're going to go here. There's a little hill there, always fun. New region, there you go. So it's uh, thick jungle inhibits your vis vision while moving on top of hills will greatly increase it. So yeah, you can see we can't see through there. And you can see this starts to get a bit more accurate as we go. There we are. And we're in the village and we will enter the village. Native villages are an important location in any expedition. Here you'll be able to trade goods, recruit new units, and more important, most importantly, rest overnight to restore a lot of sanity. We have removed all actions from this village except for stay overnight. Use this action to restore your sanity now. <clears throat> Resting a village is usually free of cost, however, when you are using a native village, your local standing will be reduced, which is this thing here. If your standing becomes too low, the natives will refuse to help you or even become hostile. You can see your standing, the blue up there. Your standing can be reduced by many other actions, such as the manner in which you treat natives, looting holy shrines, stealing sacrificial offerings, or using dynamite to blow up mountains. Yes, you can blow up mountains. Uh, for now, press sleep and we'll restore our sanity. See, it goes all the way up. Yay! Uh, sanity management becomes a very important thing and a very difficult thing. Uh, so, yeah, there's that. In addition to uncovering the map, the accuracy of your compass can also be increased by other events. In this case, the villagers have given you information about the area, which increased your compass accuracy to 100%. Your compass now points in the direction of the Golden Pyramid. Leave this village and try to reach the Golden Pyramid by following your compass. So it's literally 100% accuracy, it's down this way. So we go, we go down this way, basically. So now it's almost straight down. It's a little bit to the right, so we'll go to just behind this mountain. I imagine it's kind of like, oh, well, that's probably it there. <clears throat> go around. And there it is. The question marks are always something. And now we can explore. Uh, end of the second tutorial, compass and using natives. Hurrah, huzzah. They'll go into those again soon. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. So yeah, you can see what it is. It's uh, well, this is this is the start of it. There's obviously more to it as you go, but uh, this this is the basic kind of gameplay type thing. Uh, obtaining and using items. Old camp of failed expedition nearby. Go there. Radaru. There we go. Explore. Uh, so yeah, you get some random kind of event type things. And there's Charles Darwin, uh, the lovely, lovely Charles Darwin. Uh, you'll be able to find items at various locations. Select the Investigate Remains action. Uh, this is loot dialogue. Left click an item to take a whole stack or right click to take singles. Uh, item will be moved to your inventory. For now, select Take All. So we've got like uh, Elephant Task, uh, return this home or deliver it at a mission to gain extra fame or funds after the expedition. Uh, you've got flares, dynamite, whiskey, which helps with sanity, and chocolate rations, which helps with sanity. You are overburdened. Since you only have one unit in your trek, you can currently only carry one item. The red borders, uh, don't drop them yet, just yet. So yeah, you can only carry a certain amount of things. While you can obtain items without having the required item slots, you'll not be able to move until you've dropped or used the excess items. So you can pick them up and then you, like use them for sanity and etc. Uh, so they're not wasted. Uh, click continue. Right click the elephant tusk and drop it on the red discard, like so. Uh, added a donkey. Uh, yeah, so now we can move. So yeah, the 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 thing could be anywhere basically. I don't remember how much we need to move around. There we go. Whoops, mountains have spontaneously erupted around you. Use your dynamite to create a passage. So we just use dynamite and we blow that up. Take that nature. Yeah. 
Oh, we might need to use another one. There we go. And let's. Okay. Congratulations, you've finished the tutorial. The real curious expedition begins here. And then you've got fame and pyramid and etc. And there we go. I'm pretty sure that's all of the tutorial. Um. Oh, we may need to refresh this. Possibly. Yeah, it looks like it's, it's still a little bit off. Uh, okay, so let's go back to play now. There we go. So, new game. Uh, so you can see... Did, did it get louder again? Uh, okay, so you've got Charles Darwin. So you gain sanity every time a butterfly is collected. Uh, Marie Curie got a dog and a donkey, this guy has two, a donkey, a pack mule, and uh, a couple of people with him. So we'll start with the standard, I think. You've got other people you can unlock, and I've... Freya Stark? Daring traveller, travel writer, and discoverer of fabled valleys of the assassins. I did not know I had her. She's got a camel. Damn. What's, what's hers? Desert Explorer. Reduced movement costs in deserts. Okay. Uh, reduces base sanity costs for traveling. And yeah, there's, there's a whole load you can have. Uh, we'll just go with Charles Darwin. Welcome back to the Explorers Club, old friend. Have you heard that we are building a statue to honor the expeditions of our most famous member? Word is that you have a good chance of seeing your likeness on that statue. However, I'm afraid to tell you that you're not the only candidate. And there's our rivals. Uh, you and your rivals have six expeditions to prove who is the most famous explorer within our club. Now go, adventure awaits. So they're all wandering off to different, like you see, he's exploring that. You know, they've all got different fame. It kind of feels like a uh, horrible grassland. So, so yeah, we got well-balanced region consisting of mostly of wide uh, grasslands. Okay, <clears throat> so yeah, uh, this is the game as it stands. Last time I played it, I didn't have rivals, uh, interestingly enough. Uh, so, eagerly anticipating the upcoming adventure, I boarded the ship. There were still some preparations necessary, so I sat on the pier and waited. A missionary approached me this morning. He has had decided to leave England, and yeah, so uh, he, the missionary asks me to take him with him. I'm like, yeah, all right, why not? Uh, and we set sail. Hurrah! I mean, it's alright. Uh, so, missionary has marked the the village, and let's have a look. How far does this swing? Not far at all, so we know where the golden pyramid is. It's in this direction up here. However, what you really want to avoid doing is going anywhere really that will mess up your sanity. See, we've got a shotgun, uh, allows special dice combo, we'll get to that soon. Butterfly net increases chances of finding butterflies, uh, a machete can cut through jungle, like so. Here we go. So let's enter the village. Uh, villagers observed us with caution, they were polite and offered us what they could. Oranus Kama started translating and told me that we were welcome to stay the night. So here is our Persian translator. Scholar will improve your communication with the indigenous tribes. Allows one to rest in villages and increases sanity when gained when rust resting. And then they have abilities and stuff. So we'll deliver the missionary. <clears throat> A holy shrine, villagers agreed to help. They remained very polite and offers us, offered us more help. So we can trade. They have uh, some torches, a blue mushroom. Okay. Uh, drums. They produce interesting sounds and some spears. Uh, useful in combat. Combat will add an additional die. Uh, I don't think we need any of those though. Uh, let's see if we can recruit. Found a villager. Should we take him? Hum. I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna say no for now because I'm just gonna try and keep it simple for the video. 
Uh, native thanks their gods as we left their village. The following days we had uncomfortable feeling of being watched. So we lost some standing, but also there's a shrine that way. I'm guessing we can get through it there. Well, I'm hoping we can get through it there. So let's keep going. Oh, one more. What's this? So let's examine this, see what we find. Uh, fascinating overgrown stone idol. The ghastly village visage seems to stare at us. Its presence felt uncomfortable. We decided to move on. We noticed a few items by statue. They must have been put there by people from a nearby village, presumably in an attempt to appease the gods. Uh, now we can examine the loot. And if we wanted, we could take the mangoes and the torches. We're not going to. Uh, and if we want to go to this shrine, we can. And we, I think we're going to have to anyway. We also got a butterfly, uh, that which increases uh, sanity. Butterflies are useful. So you can see we're burning. There's also a tiger over there, which we've got to be careful-ish of. Uh, temple comprised of stones the size of a small wagon. It was a bold testament to the power of its creators. The portals, the portal that led within emanated an eerie chill. Somebody had drawn a circle of blood around the whole structure and planted spears in the ground. As a warning for anyone that dared to enter here. So let's enter here. We arrived at what seemed to be the treasure chamber. We quietly looked around the majestic hall. We've, we found a stone altar that was covered in ancient writings. Investigate. So we've got a tome page of chasm. A page that was written from an ancient tome. It is written in unearthly alien letters, but for some reason, you know you can read it. Uh, so we'll, we'll, we'll take all. There was, this was not a day of hesitation. We took what we came for. We grabbed what we could and hurried outside as the whole area started to collapse behind us. An ever-expanding an, an ever expanding crater was beginning to form and we would need to run as fast as our legs could take us. So you see the standing has gone down. And then this will happen. Oh. Um, so we still need to go up this way anyway. Uh, up. No, we need to go this way more. Yeah, so that happened. And I think, yeah, it continues to happen. That's a lot more than I was expecting to happen. But yeah, there's the crater. Uh, that will take us 20 k So we need to refresh our sanity. Uh, left click only when diary is closed. Right click to move all. Okay. So. We'll eat a couple of uh, these for a bit more sanity. Um, I'm assuming that this is it. But. Let's climb up here. Yeah, that is it. So if it was that then uh, we, we may have been in trouble. But you can see here, we need, we use two machete and we get here with some sanity left over. And we can explore this. There are other things we can do. There's something we can do over there, for example. But it's better with our sanity this low to... It's, it's worthwhile just kind of carrying on like this, really. So there you go. Uh, we couldn't believe our eyes as we saw the Golden Pyramid. The efforts of our expedition had finally paid off. Enter the pyramid. After weeks of travelling euphoria overcame me, I knew that my name would forever be forever remembered. And so you can see current fame, Golden Pyramid, butterflies, and days. So our new fame is 85. And we can finish this expedition. Ah, yay! Hurrah! Triumph. Let's see how everyone else does. And you can choose a perk as well. So, Climber, reduced movement, move cost when crossing hills, gain two inventory slots, or allow one to rest in native villages and improve communication. I mean, we've already got improved, and the uh, two additional inventory slots are good, but being able to jump on hills is just too useful. So, reduced move cost on hills, just being able to jump up there and see what's about the place is way too useful. So you see, I did terribly because I'm not good at this game. Uh, so we can get funds in the auction or we can take it to museum for fame. 
So we're going to take it to. Uh, we're going to gift that, which will boost us the hell up. There we go. And then we will uh, sell this for a little bit of money. A little bit of monies. Uh, and we will continue. So we have a choice of the drylands, experienced explorers, or the drylands. So, yeah, let's go down here. Why not? Why not indeed? Uh, full of anticipation, I made my way to the docks. The crew had preparations left to do, so I had one last pot of tea. I had a brief conversation with a trader. He had acquired a treasure map that he's willing to part with for a price. Let's have a look. How much is it? It would cost me 20 uh yeah let's let's risk it uh recruit missionary he's joining in always use extra hands and purchase equipment so we'll go to the outfitter so we want machetes so that will take us down to 10 uh easel essential for drawing pictures we've got a butterfly net but we've already got a butterfly net uh, we could do with a bit more morale boost. This does do quite a lot, as I remember, but at the same time we're going to want to take stuff with us. So, I'm going to spend all of it on this, which will help our terror as well. So, deal. Deal, 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 deal. Uh, Machete's very... Oh, we're in the drylands, aren't we? Okay. So you can see up here, we can promote these guys. So Bruce McFarland, as much a tough warrior as a fine gentleman. So we can promote him. Uh, and now he has, uh, yeah, he's level two and he's got whiskey expert, increases gain sanity when drinking whiskey, suffers from irrational fear of what is unknown or mysterious. Then you've got our Persian translator who can't be promoted, but we, we could have promoted him. Uh, or this guy who has uh, kleptomania, can't resist to, to steal, and increased maximum sanity. So that does help us. Now, where is it pointing? It's pointing anywhere around here. So I think first thing we want to do is go this way. We don't have a specific part in mind, but there's something over here we can check out. Ah, you know what we do want to do? Is that our treasure map? Ah, okay, okay. So, around the treasure map, there's a couple of hills in kind of a, a diagonally type thing. There's a forest. Uh, there's some of this stuff. So, it could be up there. So, let's go to the mission first. And enter the mission. Old missionary relief, see new faces. He greeted Cuthbert Arthur warmly. Welcome to sleep. Uh, in the safety of his walls at any time. So we'll see if we can trade with him. We don't have any monies as far as I know. Uh, can be used to dig things up as a shovel. And you can see the trading so we can, you know, kind of put two and then that's good for him. Maybe put three and then it's just a little bit. But uh, I want the torches and I don't really need the shovels. So, access storage room? Ah, okay, so we can actually, uh, yeah, okay, that's cool. So we can also rest here. Shook hands, wished us luck, new discoveries await. So it's not that there. If you look at that, that's definitely not that. So, it looks like it's to the left now. Okay. Let's have a little bit of a wander. It's not that there. See, how much does it... So it's 14 instead of 20 sanity to climb the hills. So now, there's something over there, for example. So we could pretty much go anywhere still at the moment. Yeah, just about. So, there's that down there. But I'm not sure we can get back. No, it'd be, it'd be risky getting back. So we're going to head back to the priest uh, area. We're on day 23. Uh, we're going to enter the mission. 
and we're going to rest. Uh, however, it was said that uh, much higher than usual amount of shrines and treasures could be found there. And so we got some info as well. Yay. Leave. And continue. So we go forward a day, but we get uh, we regain a, a fair amount of sanity, which is good. Let's not go through there and machete our way through unless we don't have to. And we have a shrine. Hurrah. Okay. So it's still to the left, most likely. Okay, yeah. So examine the shrine. We need a rope to go up there. That's unfortunate. Uh, what's our plan now? Well, we've got a little bit, but we may... Yeah, okay, let's go back one more time. Because we're going we're gonna to trade some shit out. Uh, we're going to enter the mission. We're going to uh, rest in the mission. Remote region, rare breed of white tigers. Okay. Uh, so we're going to trade. We're going to barter. Um, he doesn't have any ear. Yeah, okay. Let us then... I guess not worry about it. Uh, okay, let's buy one of these and trade. No, we can't trade those. Okay, never mind. Yeah, let's not worry about it. Okay. Uh, so our sanity's gone up. We could rest again, and I think we. I think we're gonna have to. We're gonna have to rest again. Yeah. So there, we're, our sanity's back up, uh, and we'll be thirty-one to there. I think that's worth it, because we'll see what this is, and then we'll get a lay of the land a little bit more. There we go. Region analyzed. Got a shaman hut. And it's definitely up this way. So going that way will be a little bit of a... Not a waste of time, but it's, it's going to slow us down, and I, and I, I think I'd like to... Yeah, let's just go straight through. Okay, new region. So where is it? It's still up this way. Can we get through up there? It would be a risky one. And I haven't seen anywhere that would indicate the location. I haven't seen any, like, oh, there's a few foresty bits here. But, again, it's not the same, is it? No. Uh, I'm not... I mean, it's 11 that way, and then it's, like, fairly difficult this way. Uh, let's go to here. So, we've got a new region. There's a rock formation there. I don't, I don't know if there's anything we can do there. There isn't, and we can get up this way, so we're going to. So, it's this way now. So, let's go this way. Uh, we're, I'm also doing this so we can have a fight. Hey there. So where is it now? It's left. Pretty much just to the left. So let's go a little bit further. Uh, yeah, let's let's attack them. Okay, so here's how combat works. You see their hearts and we've got attack and etc. Roll. Look out. Roll. Attack. Roll. We've got a... I don't know what all these do, by the way, so, yeah. Stable position. Okay. Uh, and then these two together do point blank. Boom. One dead. And we can't roll anymore. Those are our dice rolls, so end round. They roll, and they're like, ah, claws, didn't do anything. We roll, and then we go, aim shot, boom, nice one. Evade, boom. And then we've got a defend, we'll do that. And we can't, we can't, we can't do anything else, so we end the round, damn. 
claws. Ah, they got him a little bit. Okay, so headbutt. Boom. That's a Scottish man for you. He he headbutts a. I guess it's a hyena. Uh, shotgun blast. Boom. Uh, let's. Can we roll it? Yeah, we can roll again. Overview. And defend. Oh, defend. There we go. And he doesn't even roll an attack this time. And we should just be able to point blank. Boom. And there we go. Uh, we stripped what was useful from the dead. So we've got uh, hyena pelts and raw meat, which you can cook. Uh, cannot be eaten unless cooked, but makes a good trading item. So it's useful to start with a cook. Okay, so where is it? It's either yeah, it's it's either down here. So let's go this way a little bit. Uh, we're probably going to have to start eating. Oh, this could be it here, couldn't it? Is that it? Oh, didn't mean to do that. Let's eat that. Uh, so where is it? It's definitely above us. It's probably there. If we go here, we'll see. And I, yeah, no, it is. It's right there. Okay, I'm gonna risk it. I'm gonna risk it because this is where the treasure is. Treasure is right here. Yeah, that's the treasure. Uh, <clears throat> it could contain interesting. So here, like the treasures right here. Uh, also, let's promote this guy because uh, he inc that increases our sanity and that's going to be useful to us. So how do we? Huh. I'm so sure this is the place. Like, look at it. Yeah, this is definitely the place. I'm just not sure why I can't do any. Oh, I need to dig. I need a shovel and I need to dig, and I'm an idiot. Okay. Well, there's nothing we can do about it now, unfortunately. So, it's, yeah. So, it's, it's literally, like, right up here. So, we want to not have terror as long as possible. Otherwise, people will start leaving and dying. Uh, so, let's go here. Once, you, once you've lost your sanity, people will start leaving. Uh... That's, that's a shame. I should have remembered to get at least one shovel. Uh, so yes, we will enter the pyramid and not lose anyone. Finish. Ooh, that was close. Gone pyramid. Two butterflies. And yeah, we, we, we could have done better. But, you know, we, we, we spent time doing other things, unfortunately. Uh, recruit up to two units per expedition, choose between five perks as opposed to three, and survive a little longer when all alone. We will do the the perks, the polymath. I feel, I feel that that's a good idea. And look at them charge ahead. So we've got a high in a pelt. Uh, I think we'll sell them. Uh, sell all of them, yeah. Uh, we won't go for the fame on this one. And then we've got a whole load of places to go. Very rare white tigers, consisting of mostly... Ah, there's the white tigers one. Let's go there. Okay, so this will be the last one for this video. Because I, I want a little more footage of it for you guys, just so you get an idea. Maybe we can see a bit more. Musician approached. Uh, he was a collector of sorts, promised to pay well for any instruments I returned with. Okay. Cultist offered to join. Uh, I don't think I need a cultist, to be honest. So we'll purchase some equipment. Uh, we've got bullets. Adds an extra combat die. Always useful. Uh, some rope would be nice. I think at least one rope. Some weather balloons. Interest. I don't know how those work, so I'll leave those. Uh, flares can be really, really useful. So if we have one rope, maybe two rope just in case, 
No. Yeah, they're not very expensive. Uh, and then two flares, just in case. One flare. And then three whiskey, because we don't have anything else to deal with the terror. So it feels like a good idea to me. And let's do our third ex expedition where we'll probably fail and die. Because that's what happens. Wait, do we know exactly where it is? We know exactly where it is. It's straight down this way. Okay. So, we can machete or... Well, we could, we're going to have to machete either way. Or we could go there. Let's go here. Let's see what this is. We know where it is. Ah, we found a village. Nice. Uh, oh, find an instrument. Okay. Uh, enter village. Uh, trade. Interestingly, also makes wonderful use to refill some sanity. Okay, so we could... What would they want for that? Like, maybe a machete? No, they really don't want machetes. Torch? I mean, almost. Uh, whiskey? Whiskey takes it down a lot, but whiskey sanity as well. Uh, no, and rope. So, I mean, we could do one for one, almost? No, they won't deal with that. Okay. Okay, we won't worry about that, and we won't worry about resting either for now. That's unfortunate, but, uh... Sometimes that's just how it runs. Ah, now we do want to go up this way. Oh, that's not what we want. Okay, so what we do want... Hey there, guy! Okay, so we've got some, some punthers. Uh, they're a little bit tougher, but they... Yeah. We should be able to take them, unless that happens. Here we go, okay, so fight, and then we've either got defense, which is repost, or kick. So damage three, or damage two, damage two, shield two, repost. It's not much, but it does give us a shield. Next up, uh, we can do these two, which is look out, shield two. I'll take that, because a little bit of shield never hurts anyone. And we can't do anything else, apparently, so we end turn. They... Killed him, I think, and yeah. So this this is this isn't good. Uh, so point blank damage five. There we go, and evade shield two. And uh, I prefer not to do that. What's this? No, that's nothing. So this is stable position. Oh, shield three. That might actually help. And this doesn't do anything. So we just end the round. Now they're going to die because. Yeah. That's unfortunate. Uh, this may be the end of me. Ah, oh, that's, however, very nice. Tactical advantage, shield 2. No, I think we'll roll again. Probably won't get anything we need. And we don't, okay. So this is probably the end. There we go. I think, however, because I'm down, take all, wait, no one died, uh, injured, okay, so, let us, should we go back to the thing, it seems to be straight down from here, so if we go down this, yeah, okay, so let's go back to the village, our standing isn't amazing, are they going to attack, they are going to attack, this is actually bad. Yeah, we died. <laughs> okay, so this is the end of the video. Oh, eh, it's not too bad, about 40. Uh, every explorer. So uh, we'll what we'll do before the end, end of the video. There you go, expedition two. And then we died here, unfortunately. But you can see like, and because it's in early access, it's, you know, it, it's one of those things where you're like, oh, it's, this is the kind of game that can be in early access fairly easily, in my opinion. Because uh, it's got stuff to do. Okay, so what we're going to do, for a start, just for now, is we're going to mute that. Uh, and so you see her, she's got polymath. Uh, 
which is choose between five perks. You've got uh, allowed to allows one rest in native villages, improves communications. You can see what they start with. So this one starts with I think that's climbing rope, uh, bandages, chocolate. Uh, you've got this guy, Jungle Explorer. It has a tent, has a kind of shotgun type. Uh, world famous big game hunter. Uh, you have increased viewing distance and an easel and yeah, all chocolate and revolver. Uh, what does she do? Uh, increased viewing distance. Sorry. Uh, anthropological studies of indigenous cultures can be created for additional fame. So that guy does well with. Uh, those kind of people. He's got a, got a few more. I just unlocked. Who who did I just unlock? Oh, we'll, we'll go through. Uh, Nikola Tesla, inventor. Uh, increased maximum sanity. This one's a pretty good one to be. Got some rockets. Got a you know. He's not great at fighting. However, Amelia Earhart uh, increases the gained compass accuracy when uncovering fields. Again, very useful. Uh, lone survivor, survive a little bit later when all alone. Got a dog and a and an ox and stuff. Reduce base sanity costs for traveling. Very useful. Um, and yeah, a flares of flares are very useful. Uh, desert explorer, reduce movement costs in deserts. And you have a British officer, and I think that's a cook. If you can, uh, this one is not too bad. Um, but yeah, starting with a cook is awesome. I think this is who I uh, who I just uh, found. So yeah, there you go, guys. Th this is this is uh, the curious expedition. Uh, I don't know how much it's going to be on Steam. I again, what, I, I really should prepare these things, shouldn't I? It probably won't say no. Um, Let's see if we can just very quickly... I'll, I'll see if I can find out how much it is at time of recording. And if I can't do that, then let's not worry about it. It is $12 at time of recording. So a UK, I don't know, eight, eight pounds? It's pretty cheap. Uh, and yeah, it's, uh, it's, one, it's one game that I would heavily recommend. Uh, that you think about getting, especially if you've seen this and you've been like, "Oh, this is quite cool." It's like, yeah, th I feel like this is one of those things that you, you just wanna, you just wanna grab. Like it's, it's in, it's it's very similar to things like uh, FTL, you know, Fast and Light and things like that, uh, except for it's completely different. Unlike some other games which I may have covered recently that you may know about. Uh, so there you go guys, that's the Curious Expedition. I really hope you enjoyed the video, I will probably stream this. So uh, if you do want to see me play more of this, definitely, uh, then uh, head over to twitch.tv forward slash sheepdog42. However, I will also, if this initial video is popular, I will do a let's play of this, or you know, a playthrough, or like just I'll do videos on this if this initial video is popular. So yeah, we'll see. Uh, anyway, as I was saying before, I went off on a little mini rant at the end. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you in the next one.